So very quickly, we're going to be talking about um, how they appear, kind of um, what what the consequences are, what counteractions can be done, and then we'll talk about how do I what how do I know that I need to be active to correct that problem or not. Then we'll jump into uh, the project case, and then we'll talk about appliances and vibration control. And I work for one of these companies that supply the engineering and the appliances. Um, then we go back to the project case, um, and then we wrap up with vibration analysis and the summary. I guess this is nothing new for you. Um, if you excite a piping system, uh, it, is, it can be done very easily. And what usually excites it is either turbulences on the, on the pipeline, pressure surges if you open or close, for example, a valve, or if you have a pump that is pushing through kind of after certain, um, with a certain frequency, a fluid or uh, a sludge through the pipe system, or the vibrations can be coming from a pump that is directly connected to the pipe system. So it's not the fluid itself, but it's a mechanical connection that brings in that vibration into the system. Or external um, stimulation due to earthquake, for example, or winds. Consequences, um, I guess I can jump over this. It, you can be spending a lot of time repairing it, maintenance, etc. Very often we see factories that are not running at full capacity just to avoid vibrations. And what you always very also very see always frequently see is that uh, some customers they have some vibrations and they make it even more rigid. And finally, what they do is try they transmit or translate those vibrations into another into a secondary um, uh, place where it really turns into a problem. Um, this is the amplification function, and really what. And this is, if you understand this, you will understand a lot of the vibration problems that you have on piping systems. Here on the y-axis, you have the transmission factor. And here you have the one. And if you want to imagine that, let's think about not in terms of force, but in terms of amplitude. And you will see a quick video on it. This is your resulting amplitude dividing by your incoming amplitude. So if you're above one, it means that your resulting amplitude is bigger than the amplitude you're putting in. So you're you don't want to be above one, you always want to try to be below one. And on the x-axis, you have the frequency ratio. And we have seen on some of the presentations, we have, um, we've talked about natural frequency and excitation frequency. And again, we'll see a quick video, but if you're close to one, so if the excitation frequency is exactly the same as the, result, uh, as the natural frequency of the system, then you have a big problem. One easy way of imagining that is if you have a um, child sitting on a, on a swing, and let's say you push that child and it takes three seconds, let's say four seconds to come back. So four seconds to come back and you every four seconds you push it, then you will get into resonance. You will be exactly here because your natural frequency is four seconds. And if you every four seconds you give energy into that swing into that child, it will get move higher and higher, and eventually it will turn make the 360 degrees, mm -hmm. which you don't want to do. Um, if you have that four seconds going back and forth, but if you do push it very fast, let's say with uh, 20 hertz, then you're putting just too much frequency, and the child cannot follow you. So you will be somewhere, um, somewhere up here with a very high excitation frequency and a very low uh, 20 to 4. Um, relationship. So the important thing here is if you're close to one, if the excitation frequency is close to the natural frequency of the system, you do have a big problem because then you have resonance. Yeah, the critical area is somewhere before one and till uh, square root of two. And this is also, so this is the resonance area, and that's where you usually use dampers, and that's where we are going to be talking, that's what we are going to be talking about.